Elizabeth passes her first decade as ruler of Britain by going about her queenly duties. She dedicates New Zealand House, the nation's newest building, a function she has performed scores of times since she's ascended the throne to succeed her father, George VI. As the Queen looks out on the city of London, she must recall that day, ten years ago, when a 27-year-old princess rode in the gilded coach of state to Westminster Abbey. She was accompanied by Prince Philip and was cheered to the echo by her subjects and by visitors from all over the world. cathedral was crowded with royalty and representatives from nations from all over the world for the solemn ceremony that transformed a shy young girl into a queen. All of the pageantry and pomp of medieval times made the solemn ceremony one of the most colorful of modern times. Prime Minister Churchill saw another page of British history written in the enthronement of Elizabeth II. mother and Elizabeth's children witnessed the coronation as the Archbishop of Canterbury placed on the Queen's head the King Edward's crown. Queen Elizabeth II, her name echoed across the lands where Britain's friends joined in coronation celebrations. Winston Churchill said of Elizabeth, she is a lady whom we respect because she is our Queen and whom we love because she is herself. Tens upon tens of thousands of Buckingham Palace. Long live the Queen, the first in Britain since Victoria. A look back into history when the fair young princess became queen and won the hearts of the world.